Okay, this is a four speed sliding mesh gearbox and it's probably the simplest one to understand of a gearbox but we have to get our head around a few pieces of terminology and if you look there about the gear ratio calculations you have driven gears and you have driver gears. A driven gear is a gear that's driven by another gear and a driver gear is a gear that puts drive in. So this shaft here is the input shaft into the gearbox so this gear here is driving the entire gearbox now it looks like this gear is attached to this shaft but it's not this shaft turns independently of this gear so this gear comes in and it drives this shaft so that's a driver and this gear here is a driven driver driven this is all one gear it's called a compound gear and there's different size gears on the one shaft so that's a driver that's driven so now there's power in this shaft here which means that this one is potentially a driver this one is potentially a driver and this one is potentially a driver they're all drivers now the idea of a gearbox is I have to turn this shaft here because that's the output my drive shaft is put onto that. So I have to turn this shaft. If I use a big gear to turn the shaft, I've lots of leverage on the shaft. So this gear here would give me the most leverage but the slowest speed. So in other words, this would be force gear. So whenever I slide this gear over here into mesh with this fella that's force gear ratio so the drive path for force gear is driver driven driver driven so you have a small gear turning a big gear so this guy has the advantage of he gets leverage on this shaft but he has the disadvantage in that he has to turn more times just to turn this guy once this guy here a small gear turning a big gear same thing really he has the advantage in that he's turning a big gear so he gains the advantage of leverage but he has to turn more times just to turn him once so he's losing his speed but he's gaining in his twisting force and we know torque is just simply a fancy word for twisting force so if I want to know what the ratio for force gear is there's one two three four gears involved so it's driven multiplied by driven over driver multiplied by driver and that will give you your gear ratio so I'm gonna fire this one out to everybody with numbers here and maybe we can give it a go now if it's confusing that's fair enough you know we have workshop sessions coming up so we wouldn't we're not gonna worry too much about it we're just trying to get this across um, as best we can online and see where that takes us we will be doing this in practice in the workshops